एम्पलीफायर गेन in this first stage taking the a single state differential amplifier and second is the common source and single state amplifier both are cascaded man so in this uh, i found i found the um, approx the 80 dB gain and the slew rate is approximately the 95 volt per microsecond so what is the frequency of operation For this one frequency, like mm, like uh, bro, uh, yeah. So why do we need uh, two stage open? Uh, for the uh, improving the gain, like uh, in single stage, comparatively the uh, two stage the gain is less. And uh, also the it's increased the stability while considering the feedback of the RC compensation in that uh, two stage. Okay. Uh, tell me, what uh, extra have you done in two stage open? What problem you have faced while designing two stage open? Yeah, sure. So while uh, designing oh. the two stage, uh, so <coughs> if the uh, uh, there is two pole generator, so if the pole is uh, come before the unity gain, so it will create the instability of the system. Like so, uh, for the uh, for by using the RC compensation, we enhance the stability. Like the one pole is dominant pole. And second one pole is the uh, far away from the origin, so uh, it will generate the dominant pole, and also the uh, gain will increase. Okay, how did you convert two two pole into one pole? Like uh, if we add the RC compensation, so one of the pole is um, dominated because of the coupling capacitor. And another one pole is uh, uh, going far away uh, of the origin, like a uh, out of the unity gain. So, how did you uh, how did you increase the distance of the pole? Hello. Yes. Sir. So, get another camera. So by using the uh, coupling capacitor, so pole two is a uh, dependent on the that capacitance. Can you write uh, what is the uh, what is pole one and pole two? Okay, sure. Can you uh, write the transfer characteristics? Transfer characteristic. Okay. Okay. Uh, tell me what is the value of pole one and pole two? Pole and one is a um, one by gm r one into r two into cc. Pole two. 
a pole to a gel uh, approximately mm. sorry uh, i'm uh, unable to recall this have you used miller capacitors yes sir. so what are the advantage of using miller capacitors so miller capacitance uh, it used for like uh, it increase the uh, dominant pole at the uh, it it will uh, split into two parts like a uh, one of the uh, input side and another one is the output side so it will increase the what is the what will be the value of the capacitance if you will split uh, like approx the 0.22 times the load capacitance no no if, if you have a capacitance if you are splitting in using miller capacitance yeah so okay, what, okay. What, what will in, be the value of that capacitance uh, input side is c into 1 minus gain of the uh, amplifier and output side is c into 1 minus 1 by uh, gain of the amplifier can you explain uh, uh, okay uh, Draw me the, draw me the, draw the diagram of twisted joker. Okay. Uh, Can I draw on the page? Yeah, yeah. Draw on the page. Okay, so just introduce yourself. For circuit only? Yeah, yeah. Circuit. Okay. Okay, so then introduce yourself. I am Arvind sir. Introduce yourself. Good morning, good evening sir. This is Sudhir Dawlori from Eluri in Andhra Pradesh. Currently, I am purchasing MTech in National Institute of Technology, Karnataka, Swarathakar in Vyala State Domain. Uh, I completed my B.Tech in JNTU. Uh, apart from this, uh, I done a course, certification course in Central National of Cool Design. I done a projects like uh, um, uh, Quantum Dot Cellular Automata using uh, QCAD design and uh, a faster design technique data multiplier using the code and uh, uh, home automation project using FPGA board. Uh, what this is all what, about me. What was the second project? Sir, what was the second project? Second project, a faster design technique of data multiplayer. Data multiplayer, sir. Okay. So, apart from that, uh, what topics have you covered till now? Uh, Periolog, STA, and the digital electronics. Mm -hmm. This is the design of the two stage. Where is the Miller capacitance? Yeah. And where is the coupling capacitance? So, tell me. Yeah, this one. Where did it? Okay, now to tell me why do we do biasing in two stage mechanics? Because we uh, confirm the all the MOSFET uh, it ensure in saturation region. And uh, what are the advantages of tail current? So it will limit the current of the uh, uh, differential open uh, of the both side line. Okay. So, design a very long code of uh, up and down counter, Sudhir. Uh, up, up and down counter, sir. Uh, up down counter. Yes. So, four code, sir, or else oh, logic. Oh, oh, oh. Pardon? Four code, or else logic. Whole uh, code. Okay, sir. Okay, write only logic. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, write the 
ICMR minimum and ICMR maximum equation. So, um, so tell me what you mean by ICMR? ICMR is the range of the input uh, uh, supply. So in between the all the transistor must be in the saturation. So beyond this one ICMR, like uh, uh, if the maximum of ICMR, uh, if the supply is go beyond the maximum maximum of ICMR, then the one of the transistor will go into the diode region. So that's it. So ICMR minimum is defined by the tail current saturation and voltage plus VGS1. And Sir, this is the code. It's uh, not visible. Right now? Uh, ex explain it line by line. It's not visible clearly. Okay, sir. Uh, always separate passage clock I'm giving, sir. Okay. Mm. It is uh, by synchronous like that. If reset is equal to one, temp is equal to zero. I am using load also. Else if load equal to one, temp is equal to D, where D is the input. Else if up count, uh, temp is equal to temp plus one. Else temp is equal to temp minus one. Yeah. This one is the ICMR minimum and ICMR maximum. Okay, wait one second. Uh, explain. Sir, do you get it? Yeah, yeah, explain. Always separate passage clock begin if reset is equal to 1, temp is equal to 0. I take temp as a register. And else if load equal to 1, temp is equal to D. Else if up count equal to 1, equal to equal to 1, temp is equal to temp plus 1. Else temp is equal to temp minus 1. Okay. Have you done concatenation? Yes, sir. Show concatenation in this in this code, sir. Yes. In this code, I didn't do it, sir. Concatenation. Without concatenation, I didn't do it. Okay. Control, show me. Yeah, this is Top one is the ICMR minimum. Uh, what is the equation? Did you talk? Actually, my net is so. Uh, I put it here the M6, so VD set 6 plus VGS1 for the oh. ICMR minimum. Okay, uh, for maximum? For maximum VD set 1 plus VTH1. Okay. So, now tell me. Yes. Uh, so, there. Can you yes. can you design f by six frequency divider using the flip flop? Not on very low. Frequency Yeah. Just uh, only circuitous or else very low course. Circuit. 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 Okay. Sir. Using deep flip flops. Yeah. So. You tell me what do you mean by transconductance? Sir, transconductance. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and it's a uh, like, uh, like a difference, uh, change in uh, uh, ID current with respect to VGS uh, supply. So, Okay, uh, can you write the equation e equation of GM for MOSFET? Sorry, sir. Can you write the equation of MOSFET? Uh, equation of transconductance for okay. MOSFET? Okay. 
Sir, this is the one. You study frequency divider. Yes, I will ask. You. Yes, sir. So, now uh, tell me. What do you mean by task uh, function? Can you tell me the difference between task and function? Sir, what is meant by? Can you tell me the difference between task and function? Yes, sir. Um, function needs one input parameter and it contains one return value. Whereas task contains uh, one input parameter, but it doesn't contain any output, but it contain it, it will return the values. Uh, and, uh, and task will enable the both function and task, but the function will enable only uh, function, but it will not enable the task. Mm. Can we have time? Can we do timing using function? Timing analysis using function. I think it is not possible, sir. Okay. Uh, have you studied uh, Stimos? Yes, sir. So tell me what what do you mean by threshold and leakage current? Okay, Shatru, what was? Yes. So GM equal to threshold and leakage current. Okay, sir. Threshold. One threshold current. One second. Threshold sub threshold current. One second. Threshold current only, sir. Uh, yeah, one second, Sudhir. Uh, please hold on. Define in a two way. Okay. So GM equal to one of the value equal to mu n sux w y l into VGS minus VTH. While VGS minus VTH put from the current equation, so it will become the under root 2 id mu n sux w y l. Okay. Can you draw the curve between? Different different parameter used in that circuit. Uh, for what type of corruption? Uh, Curve. Uh, okay, I am telling you. Sudhir, uh, yeah, explain it. What do you mean by subtraction sort and leakage current? Okay, sir. Am I audible right now, sir? Yes, yes, you are audible. Sir, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Uh, yes, yeah, you are audible. Subtraction current is the current which is uh, yes, sir. Subtraction current is uh, a leakage which is which is current. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Subtraction current is the current which is delivered when uh, uh, when we on the transistor. V just greater than V H, then it will be on and it will produce some current. Between uh, coming to that V H, some current will flow. That is the subthreshold current. Whereas the leakage current uh, is the current uh, leakage current mainly depends upon uh, um, it will it will comes like uh, which leakage current do you want, sir? Like uh, short circuit or is short circuit? Okay, sir. Short circuit current. Okay, so I am talking about I am talking about sub threshold leakage. Sub threshold is a leakage which is uh, delivered the, uh, below uh, transistor on which is less than VDH. The current will flow. That is sub threshold leakage. Okay. Anything more about it? Uh, how is uh, threshold leakage developed in the CMOS? Oh, effect. How is threshold voltage? What is the reason of sub threshold leakage in CMOS? Same question for you, Shatru. Sub threshold leakage in CMOS. Yeah. This this current is uh, uh, when we while VGS less than VTH, so the 
rain tj produce so that is called like subthreshold leakage kiln while we while we take like uh, anmos transistor ntn it contains pmos literally but it contains some voltage in between oxide layer when we increase the uh, threshold when we increase the voltage then the holes will come down and the electrons will go up Lit, uh, little bit then in that time the um, current will flows between source to drain that is the sub threshold current it is the uh, sub threshold leakage is uh, visible in long channel or short channel device it is available in short channels okay why is it so because uh, uh, in long channel there will be no effect that much uh, uh because uh it have to travel so much of distance in long channel whereas in short channel it is the movement of electrons which takes very less distance e is equal to v by d when the distance decreases and electric field will be increases then the movement of electrons will be fast then there is a chance in uh, sub threshold current in uh, short channel device okay uh, on what on what factors uh, sub threshold leakage depends uh, so, depends upon uh, uh, distance between source and drain and uh, what is the material we used uh, and the oxide thickness also it will take place sir and the how much potential we are using in gate terminal okay chaturdhan uh, you tell me the same same question for you what is the reason of sub threshold leakage how is it developed is the most sub threshold uh, leakage first depends on the uh, length of the channel and another one is the supply and second one third one is the yeah this i know the two points okay if we are increasing the beauty of the cmos sub threshold leakage will, will increase or decrease solution if we are increasing the threshold voltage of the uh, mosfet then your leakage sub threshold leakage will increase or decrease it, it is depend upon uh, if we increase the threshold voltage so leakage will sub threshold leakage will decrease why right. in mos it is dsb directly proportional to vth in pmos dsb directly proportional Tell me, Sudhir. VSB is directly proportional to VTH in sir. VSB is directly proportional to VTH in NMOS, and VSB is directly proportional to uh, VTH in PMOS. Sir. What is the equation of VTH? VTH equal to VTH uh, oh, in terms of temperature, sir. Yeah. VTH is equal to VTH not plus gamma root V uh, Q N A epsilon plus V B B Q N T N A kitu. I A plus D H B minus under root two pi F. Okay, okay. Uh, no, so how you are telling that it is inversely proportional to V S B? In N M O S, sir. Yeah. What is the equation of V T H in P M O S? Same P M O S the VSG, VSG, uh, VGS, VGS greater than VTH, it will be on in PMOS, in NMOS. In, in PMOS, VSG greater than VTH, it will be on. No, no, you told me that uh, in PMOS, VT is inversely proportional to VSB. In PMOS, then only transistor will be on. So how is uh, in equation, but it's not showing yes, that sir, it is yes, inversely proportional to Uh, VTH. How you are saying that it's inversely? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Better than VTH is the primary. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by 
while we take that the equation beta is equal to beta h not plus gamma root vsb plus 2 pi f okay now tell me if we are increasing the by root uh, 2 n of it you know sir here vsb source to bulk voltage yeah yeah okay leave it i understand so now tell Degree me factor. yeah no no my next question is for both of you if we are increasing the body bias voltage how will we how will it uh, how vth will increase or decrease body bias so VHB is, uh, VHB is increased, then the VTH will increase. Oh. Like it's a, uh, like, a, it's a direct, uh, means directly depending on the VHB, like VTH equal to uh, VTH note uh, plus gamma in, into under root 2 pi F plus VHB uh, minus of uh, under root 2 pi, S, pi F. So it should depend on the VSB. If the uh, body bias is increased, so it will increase the VTH. Yeah. No, no, it's not like that. If you increase uh, body bias, it means that uh, v EBS is increasing, not VSB. But in the equation, we use VSB. So when we increase the body bias voltage, the VT will decrease. Because in the equation, we use VSB. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when we are increasing the body bias voltage, B, B, BS is increasing, not BSB. So it will be minus. So the this order voltage will decrease. Not only what do we get? DIBS. Then it is in the barrier lowering. But oh, okay, one by one. This time I don't know much detail. <coughs> Have okay, so it will be. DIBL is produced when the gate voltage, if your gate voltage is turned off, when we increase the drain drain voltage, then the potential across the drain, it will decrease, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, continue. Okay. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Have you, do you know about GI GIDL? I need to recall this one, sir. Okay. So if, if you if we are increasing the VT of the circuit, what will we, how will we how will it affect the delay of the circuit? If we increase the VTH, so we have to increase the gate voltage to turn on the MOSFET. No, my question is how will we how will it affect the delay of the circuit? If VT is increases. Same question for you, Sudhir. If we increase the VT, how will it, it affect the delay of the circuit? What sir? If you are increasing Hello. the V, yeah, am I audible? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, if sir. you are increasing the VTH of the circuit, how will we? How will it affect the propagation delay of the circuit? Sir, it will increase the VTH. If VTH increases, then the transition, then the uh, uh, propagation delay delay will be increased, sir. It means. Uh, uh, it means uh, uh, we have to give more potential to it on. It means propagation delay will be increased. We need uh, more potential to. What is the on what factor propagation delay depends? Propagation delay depends uh, like that. In uh, we use multi VTH in the 
prop multi vt h in uh, uh, while we traveling the signal uh, in the critical path in critical path like that we use sir in critical path we use less vt h if less vt h is used then vdd vdd then the signal will goes very fast because when we apply uh, such amount of voltage it will go when we in uh, not in critical path we will use high vth to make the circuit uh, without any setup and hold time violation like that we use sir we use multi vth in that terms okay i am asking on what factor propagation delay depends propagation delay propagation delay it means uh, definition of propagation delay sir yeah it will increase Definite. the rise time actually so propagation delay it is the delay which is output to, to be stable that is the propagation delay sir by applying the input asking what is the formula of propagation delay what is that formula of propagation delay on what what factor it directly depends propagation delay directly depends tplh plus tphl by 2 sir propagation yeah. delay depends on the charging and discharging of, of capacitor like uh, what amount of time needed to charge the capacitance uh, so it will come into the uh, picture of the propagation delay उटेटर How will it be influencing the propagation till that is R and C? It is not directly dependent on R and C. So how it will affect the propagation? Till? It depends upon wire, sir. Wire contains of both resistor and capacitors. It doesn't like normal wire. If we increase the uh, VTA, so like uh, the resistance of the MOSFET is. Mm, inversely proportional to the mu n cx w by l into vth minus vth so while increasing the vth so resistance will decrease but we need to extra uh, supply for uh, turn on the uh, uh, mosfet and so id will become less uh, drain current so it it will take take to uh, comparatively uh, more time to charge uh, the output capacitance is output capacitance so it will come into the uh, picture of the uh, propagation delay like that so in way in one way we can also say that if we are increasing vth or decreasing vth the yes. resistance of the channel path is decreasing when we are yes. increasing the vth resistance of the channel path is decreasing in this way resistance of the so propagation delay is decreasing and uh, along with that the current is also increasing in the channel when we are reducing the vth so when the current is increasing it will charge and discharge more fastly as compared to the previous situation so in yes. that way r is decreasing and c capacitance charging and discharging time is also increasing so propagation delay is reducing when we are reducing the vth yes. so my next question is suppose we have a cmos inverter uh, okay. i am giving 0.5 volt at the uh, uh, vdd by 2 at the input 2.5 volt we are giving at the input so what will be the output it will go into meta stable state sir how can you say that uh if you sir uh, 1 volt is 5 volt and 0 volt is 0 and in between 2.5 am i correct sir your question in your question yeah 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 okay sir generally 0 to 0.8 it will take like as logic 0 and 
ट्रांसलेशन so and supply is directly co connected to the ground in this uh, scenario okay so chaturanga uh, is uh, right if the both transistor will be in saturation region that is the then output will be given no the output we can uh, specify the output in the this. output can be zero or one it can be both in that scenario mm -hmm. because it will depend upon the cmos process technology that uh, what vol we are providing suppose if a, a low value our low if transistor cons cons considers our low value from 0 to 2.8 volt then it will logic zero if uh, our cmos process technology considers 2 to 3 2 to 5 volt as a high voltage vol high then in that scenario it will considered as it high voltage so it, it will depends upon the cmos uh, what vol and voh we are giving to the cmos okay okay now what do you mean by race around condition race around condition it will occur in jk flip flop when uh, j and k both inputs are high in that state we didn't we didn't define whether its state goes to zero or one because of uh, there is a feedback that way and uh, because of feedback it will changes zero to one zero to one like this yes sir so uh, race around condition when we give the level trigger so it will become race around condition Like, what do you mean by level trigger? Like when the clock is high, so and the uh, during the on duration, so if the input is changes, so it will affect the output in between them. Ah, hmm. hmm. uh, but in the uh, it's compared to its edge trigger. So when we uh, Uh, the clock is at the edge. Uh, then the input will reflect to the output. Otherwise, it will uh, not reflect to the output. So these are the difference of the level and edge trigger. So in edge trigger, there is the level in between. If the input is changed, so output will output will reflect and change accordingly. Okay, now. Tell me if we have the situation of uh, race round condition. So how will it? How will it? Will it? How will you remove it? By using master slave flip flop. Master slave flip flop. The second one is the edge trigger. Yes, sir. Okay. Can we have this round condition in edge trigger? Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. We can. Can we have race round condition in edge triggering circuit? Regular and conditional, it will never occur in. Yes, to your no sir. Agitate, agitate, sir. Metastable state, it will occur, sir. Due to setup and hole violation, it will go to metastable state. Okay, sir. 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 I will continue it in the next time. I will ask more questions from this side. Okay. okay. That is. Now what is the now in which in which in which thing I have to improve, sir? I think you need to study CMOS. You need to study CMOS in more detail. 
because uh, it's very basic question people and the idea okay. on that you don't know clearly what is that so you need okay. to study it there are some basic questions i think there are only 15 to 20 questions in cmos that generally interviewer ask you uh, when the the exchange in most with cmos what will happen how it will react as per what will be what will be the equation how in most will uh, how in most will give a strong zero not a strong one you have to write that equation it yep. charging it is charging from that is the first question that is generally asked Now the second question is uh, clock domain crossing. That is very common in interview. There is now you have question for uh, I just ask the threshold leakage, gate leakage. Uh, I didn't ask much about that because you don't know detail about that, so I didn't go further in that. So you need to study it in more detail. Which one, sir? GIDL. Which one, sir? GIDL. GIDL. Okay, sir. Dynamic. Okay. And apart so, from that, you study uh, charge sharing. What is charge sharing in CMOS? And also, the uh, uh, dynamic power. Charge sharing in CMOS, sir. Yeah, yeah. Dynamic power, static okay. power, uh, short circuit power. Dynamic power. Okay. okay. In more detail, and also, okay. suppose we are giving any any pattern to the input NAND gate. So in in what pattern the gate will be high? In what pattern the gate the gate will be low? In what pattern the gate will be intermediate? In that scenario. And also, that is a basic question of the CMOS. Also, we have channel length modulation, trans conductance, short channel, short channel effect, inch of point. That are yes. that are yes. basic question. Apart from yes. that, uh, they they don't have even time for exceeding that limit. You need to study that topic okay. in more clear way. For me, sir, uh, which topic I need to okay. uh, complete? Uh, have you studied uh, unlock from reserve? Sorry. Sir. Have you studied uh, unlock then from reserve? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, you you revise it. Uh, it will be enough for you if you have done internship and unlock. There are many vacancies in the log, in global foundries, in Texas Instruments. So, if you have studied uh, Razavi, yeah, then it will be very much easy for you to crack that interview. And also, uh, study RC circuit. Uh, in, if if you are applying for the log design, RC circuit questions is oftenly asked, and uh, half of the time of the interview will go on the RC circuit. So uh, you need to study it more. You have video on YouTube from Texas Instrument. Uh, yes. You saw all that video, and also there is one thing missing in YouTube. When we are using current control device for RC circuit, you have to also prepare for that. Okay. Oh. Voltage source and current source. If for both, you have to study RC circuit in more detail. And also apart from that, uh, uh, you study common source, common gate, and common drain. And also a small signal analysis of cascode amplifier, differential amplifier, current mirrors, different type of current mirrors, and uh, all MOSFET design and uh, in detail way uh, you need to study the stream loading water and all that. Uh, how does it work as a resistor? How will increase the uh, output impedance? Decrease the output impedance? What will be the effective gain? By using a small signal analysis, you have to know all that scenario. Yes. yes. So uh, it will be enough for you to crack any interview. I have to. Yeah. No, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, and so there, uh, you need to uh, you you revise all the very long basic codes, and also you need to study. Frequency divider that is also very frequently yes, asked in the interview. Frequency divider, Johnson counter, ring counter, strip yes, reg yes, register, yes, and uh, yes, million FSM code. Uh, FSM in more detail because uh, for detail profile, yes, FSM, FSM there is FSM, FSM yes, is very important. Also, FIPO, 
uh, you study then the five about FIFO and uh, so demos okay. basics is uh, important everywhere either it is digital or or it is analog design so these questions are uh, very important and in digital they, they generally ask the uh, basic questions like uh, converting marks into different types of gates or you they will give you a pattern and ask you to to design it through the counter so okay. these are the basic questions they generally ask the basic questions they don't uh, ask very tough questions so you have to do command on the basic nothing more than that okay sir uh, when i give the answer so it's clear from your search you you gave the answer yeah it was clear but uh, you need to, to explain it in more detail okay sir uh, when you were explaining the dominant pose concept then apart from the dominant dominant pose concept you need to go you need to do how poles are coming how how was the transfer function designed for that how is the gain margin the phase margin is changed and what was the gain margin and phase margin before two pole and one pole and why, why is the frequency response improving how is frequency response is improving uh, what is it affecting the no noise on the circuit and uh, so in that scenario you need 